What's going on, y'all? Welcome to The Truth Don't Hurt, where the truth doesn't hurt, it just hurt coming from me. I want to talk about Lincoln Riley. Lincoln Riley, look, Lincoln Riley is a good, let's let's be honest, he's a good college coach. He's going to go ahead and put them points up. But as far as a championship caliber, dynasty type of uh, college coach, he's not that. He failed at Oklahoma, and he's going to fail at USC. His teams is always soft. His defenses is always soft. It's just everything regarding his culture is just soft. You know, he want to go ahead and look pretty. But one thing he can produce is some quarterbacks, whether they go ahead and, and uh, flourish in the NFL or not, which a few of his quarterbacks hasn't other than Jalen Hurts. But let's just be honest with you. A lot of what Jalen Hurts was made of came from Alabama. Let's just be honest, though. Even though he kind of helped him with his passing, though, which which what got him drafted, though. But a lot of what he was made of came from Alabama. Let's just be real. Lincoln Riley, when it comes down to getting results, which all college team wants, he sucks at that. But he's going to go ahead and get the numbers up and go ahead and get the teams talking and get them offenses looking solid, though, for the season until it's time to play them big boys in the playoffs, until it's time to play Alabama in the playoffs. It's time to play Georgia in the playoffs. It's like time to play Utah during the season. Suck. He just trash. You know, so as you can see, he done left Oklahoma into a bad position, but because Venables is so is a, such of a good coach, which I want it, he, it, he brings a certain type of toughness that you need to win it all. It may not look pretty. We may not put as much points on 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 the field like 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 Lincoln Riley though. But no matter whether see see that game that Oklahoma lost, I mean that one against USC UCF, Lincoln Riley would have lost that game. But they did what they had to do to win the game. It may not look pretty. But so what? Do you get the win? Do you win? Do you bring a winning culture? Do you bring a, a level of toughness to the team? And Lincoln Riley doesn't do that. And that's why USC will fail. But of course, you're in California. You want to go ahead and look good and look the part, though. But one thing that I know at USC, they don't want to lose games. They don't they want to go ahead and get back to what Reggie Bush and Matt Liner took them. Right. But again, who do they fall to? Texas, Lincoln Riley, he just don't have the stuff, right? He probably going to have to take a back seat and go somewhere else and to be an offensive coordinator because he can probably do that maybe, you know, but as far as being a head coach to bring the results, he's not going to do that. As you can see, no matter what defensive coordinator he got, and Alex Grant, he sucks. Let's just be honest with you. Uh, he's He done followed him and he ain't did nothing. He sucks, right? You're supposed to go ahead and compliment each other, whether it be on defense and offense. And for Lincoln to put up all the points and Alex Grant, all you got to do is go ahead and get to these quarterbacks and go ahead and get these turnovers. You ain't doing that consistently against better teams. Trash. But anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about that. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share this content. We gone.